My first time to Helena, I've come through here going to Canada before. Never entertained here. I knew there was a rodeo here. I live in Oklahoma, it's a long ways up here. But I'm here this year for three performances plus the parade. I'm gonna do a parade entry with this mule on top of the trailer, going down through the streets, shooting this pistol. Yeah, there we go shooting that pistol and uh, popping a bullwhip and going right down through the parade route. I'm the only one in the world that does that. So be sure and show up for the parade on Saturday, but most important, show up for these performances on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. I've been in the business 30 years, travel all over the United States, all over Canada, been to Mexico, and I've been to the Middle East. And I've been riding this mule here, which I've been riding this mule for about 10 years. He proves to be very sure-footed, but he, he's kind of got a mind of his own. He's always got some other idea that ain't exactly like what I want to do. Everybody asks me how I lost my arm, and I say, which time? And they say, well, how many times can you lose an arm? And I said, well, I've lost mine three times now. One time I was doing a show in Perry, Georgia, and this mule bucked me off and kicked me in the arm. And this is just a plastic arm, broke my strap, and my arm fell off. Right in the show, right in front of 5,000 people. I had to go get a coat hanger and wire it back up, and they went and caught my mule, and I finished the show. Usually a broken arm costs three or $4,000 to fix. My broken arm cost $40 in the saddle shop, and I was healed up and ready to go. So there is advantages of having one arm. I used to be uh, pretty, well, I was right-handed for 20 years and then I got my right hand, right arm cut off and now, now I'm left-handed. It, uh, it was a pretty big change, but I've adapted well. And one thing you won't forget when, when I leave Helena, Montana, you will not forget one arm bandit. You might not remember John Payne, but you won't forget One Arm Bandit. So it's actually helped a lot. And uh, I can do anything I want to do. And if I don't want to do it, I can act like I can't and somebody else will do it for me. Well, in the One Arm Bandit and Company show, we like a lot of color and big horns. And your Watusi from Africa crossed with your Texas Longhorn gives you big horns, long horns, and a lot of color. And that's what you want when you're entertaining people at night, you want to be able to see the animals. The steers are really a lot easier to train compared to the buffalo. What people can expect when they come and see the one-armed bandit here in Helena, Montana, is the very best rodeo act in the world. I've won Entertainer of the Year 14 times, and I'm currently the Entertainer of the Year. So that makes me the best. I might not be the best next year, but this year I am the very best. So come and see me here in Helena, Montana, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and don't forget the parade. You'll love that little entry. My show comes with a guarantee. If you don't think my show alone is worth the price of a rodeo ticket and can convince my mama that, I'll give your money back. <laughs>